Hey guys, it's the page tennis with Noreen here and I'm here to do a book review on Romancing Mr. Bridgerton which is the fourth in this Bridgerton series by Judah Quinn. So in the book there's two main characters, Penelope Featherton and Colin Bridgerton. So Penelope Featherton has adored her best friend's brother Colin Bridgerton since she first laid her eyes on him. She thinks that she knows everything about Colin, she secretly watches him here and there and part of the story is that she stum when she stumbles upon his greatest secret she feels like she doesn't know him at all. Colin on the other hand, uh, he's a ladies man, he's an empty headed charmer. He's tired of this uh, notorious gossip and people's presumptions by the town's gossip columnist Lady Whistledana who seems to write every paragraph with his name in it. Colin returns back to London, he realises and he comes to acknowledge that Penny Featherton, you know, somebody that has always been a constant in his family and his sister's best friend has changed she's not like how she was used to be she's not this you know little girl she's grown and mature and he's becoming to have feelings towards her however like every story when he finds out that penelope herself has a secret of his of her own a dilemma happens and he's not sure how to see her in this different light and i gave this book a four out of five stars I really enjoyed it. As I said, if you've seen in my summer book haul of contemporary fiction, I love books in the 19th century. Um, I love Jane Austen novels. I love watching programs such as North and South, uh, Wuthering Heights. I love the film Pride and Prejudice. Anyway, now I'm just going offhand. Okay, in terms of the characters, Penelope Featherton is a wallflower. She's a typical wallflower. She's invisible, she's slightly overweight. She's a 28 year old spinster. She hasn't found a suit. Penelope does, I'm not giving any spoilers, but she does have a secret on her own. Throughout the books there are steps where you show she's very clever, she's very mature. When the secret comes out you think, oh my gosh, she's so smart. How does she keep that covered and a secret from everyone in the whole village? And the whole village? town. Colin, he's, as I said in synopsis, he's an easygoing charmer. All the ladies are falling in love with him. Everyone wants him to be their suitor. However, he's quite fed up with being being known as the empty-headed charmer, being known just as a womanizer or a ladies man. He wants to make something for himself, just like his two previous older brothers, which we know their stories from the previous books, using his experiences from travelling to writing novels. I thought that was a really nice twist to his character that Julia Quinn wrote because it's something really deep and personal and get a different side to him other than, you know, his outside character. The relationship between Penelope and Colin, it's a sweet relationship. It grows from an uneasy acquaintance to friendship to a more intimate romantic relationship, which I like that, I like that progress. The main plot of the book is Who is this Whistle Down, which I do have to say, in the previous three books, it was such a big secret, and I have to admit, I didn't read the three books beforehand, I just kind of delved into this one, and that's why it's such a big shock when you find out who it is in this book. In terms of the writing, the writing is beautifully written, it's not hard to understand, it's very easy and formal written, that touch to the 19th century element. I really like it because the dialogue that they speak to one another is very sophisticated. Anyway, that was my review on the book. Check out the links below in my blog, which I've done a written review of the book on our Twitters and YouTubes. And I'll see you soon. Bye.